35 years. That's how long it took America to build something that makes the legendary B-2 spirit look outdated. The new B-21 Raider has a radar signature no bigger than a mosquito. The B-2 cost $2.2 billion per jet. The B-21? Just $692 million. Same stealth power. Triple the technology. One-third the price, the B-2 can only hide from radar in front. The B-21 disappears from every direction. While China and Russia pour billions into trying to detect U.S. bombers, America just made their entire defense systems useless. Welcome to Jet Insight. This is why the B-21 Raider will completely dominate the B-2 spirit. The new era begins. The U.S. Air Force just did something remarkable. They took the most feared bomber in history and made it look like yesterday's news. For decades, the B-2 spirit ruled the skies. It was untouchable, invisible, and terrifying to America's enemies. But now there's a new king in town. The B-21 Raider isn't just an upgrade. It's a revolution. This isn't about minor improvements. It's about taking 35 years of experience and building something that will secure America's dominance for the next 50 years. Every surface, every bolt, every curve was designed for one purpose, to remain unseen. While rival nations built bigger missiles and stronger radar, American engineers quietly built something they'll never detect. If you believe America builds the best technology on Earth, type PROUD in the comments below. The Stealth Revolution. Let's talk about what truly makes the B-21 special. Stealth. When the B-2 first flew in 1989, it was groundbreaking. Back then, stealth meant hiding from radar in one direction. The B-2 was nearly invisible head-on, perfect for its time. But warfare evolved. Modern radar systems track from every angle using multiple sensors and advanced computers. That's where the B-21 changes everything. It introduces 360-degree stealth, no matter where radar hits it, from above, below, front or rear. The B-21 simply vanishes. Every inch of its body was digitally sculpted to bend and scatter radar waves away from enemy sensors. The result? A bomber so stealthy that its radar signature is comparable to a mosquito. Imagine trying to track a mosquito in your backyard at night with a flashlight. That's what enemy radar operators face when the B-21 flies overhead. Size matters, but not how you think. Here's something surprising. The B-21 is actually smaller than the B-2. The B-2's wingspan is 172 feet. The B-21? Around 132 feet. So why go smaller? Because in stealth design, smaller means harder to find. Every square foot of surface area increases radar visibility. By reducing size, engineers made the B-21 far more elusive. The B-21 carries about 20,000 pounds of weapons, half of what the B-2 can carry. But here's the twist. That's not a weakness. It's a strength. Modern precision weapons are so accurate that one smart bomb can destroy what used to take dozens. The B-21 doesn't need to carry more bombs, it just needs the right ones. And its smaller size comes with huge advantages. It can use shorter runways, deploy from more air bases, requires less maintenance, and costs far less to operate. The technology gap. The gap between the B-2 and B-21 isn't just big, it's generational. When the B-2 was designed, the Soviet Union still existed. Computers were rare. The Internet barely existed. The B-21 was born in an era of digital engineering, advanced materials, and intelligent systems. The B-2 relied on traditional design methods, blueprints, scale models, and wind tunnel tests. The B-21, on the other hand, was built entirely through advanced simulations. Supercomputers tested millions of aerodynamic and radar scenarios to perfect every curve and joint. Even the placement of bolts was optimized to minimize detection. The materials tell the rest of the story. The B-2's radar-absorbing coating was cutting-edge in the 1980s, but heavy, expensive, and high-maintenance. That famous midnight black finish had to be constantly reapplied in special hangars. The B-21 uses new-generation composite materials, naturally stealthy, lighter, and more durable. Its coatings are thinner, smarter, and last far longer. That's why the B-21 appears brighter than the black B-2. Its stealth comes from science, not paint. Closing line. The B-21 Raider isn't just the next bomber. It's the beginning of a new era in air dominance. While others are trying to catch up, America has already moved on to the future. This is where the B-21 story becomes truly remarkable.
the B-2 Spirit program suffered from massive cost overruns and production cuts. Originally, the U.S. Air Force planned to buy 132 B-2 bombers, but budget constraints reduced that number to just 21. With development costs spread across so few aircraft, each B-2 ended up costing around $2.2 billion, more than the annual military budget of many nations. The B-21 Raider program learned from those mistakes. Its average unit cost is projected at $692 million, 2022, less than one-third the cost of a B-2. The Air Force plans to build at least 100 Raiders, spreading development costs across a much larger production run. But the savings go far beyond the purchase price. The B-21 was engineered for easy maintenance and operation from the start. Modern manufacturing techniques, including digital design tools and even 3D printed components, have drastically cut production time and costs. Northrop Grumman reports they've reduced the gap between design and production from the usual 15-20% to just 1%. That's extraordinary efficiency and a huge leap in cost-effectiveness. Operational capabilities that change everything the B-21. Raider isn't just an upgrade to the B-2. It's a new generation of aircraft built for 21st century warfare. The B-2 was designed as a nuclear bomber for the Cold War. The B-21 is built for modern multi-domain battlefields where cyber, space, and air power all converge. It can fly 2,500 miles without refueling while carrying a full weapons load, enough to strike any target on Earth from U.S. or Allied bases. For comparison, an F-35 can only fly about 930 miles without refueling, but range is only part of the story. The B-21 is optionally manned, meaning it can fly with pilots aboard or operate autonomously. Imagine a stealth bomber penetrating enemy airspace, identifying and destroying targets, without risking a single American life. Even more impressive, the B-21 acts as a flying command and control center. It can coordinate with other aircraft, satellites, and ground forces, providing real-time intelligence and battlefield management, all while remaining undetected. It also works with collaborative combat aircraft, or loyal wingman drones, which it can command to scout jam enemy radar, or even shield the main bomber. In essence, one B-21 can control a small, invisible air force of its own. Weapons and mission flexibility. The B-21's weapon systems highlight America's technological edge. Though it carries fewer weapons than the B-2, each one is far more advanced. It can deploy both conventional and nuclear weapons. For conventional strikes, it carries precision-guided bombs like the Joint Direct Attack Munition, JDAM and the Joint Air-to-Surface Standoff Missile, JSM, capable of hitting targets from hundreds of miles away. For deeply buried targets, it can carry the 30,000-pound Massive Ordnance Penetrator, capable of destroying underground bunkers buried hundreds of feet below ground. Just imagine the psychological effect of knowing no command center is safe from American air power. For nuclear missions, the B-21 will be armed with B-61 and B-83 bombs, plus the new long-range standoff, LRSO nuclear cruise missile, ensuring a stealthy, credible deterrent capable of reaching any target on Earth. What truly sets the B-21 apart is its open systems architecture, allowing it to be quickly upgraded with new weapons and technologies as they emerge, something the B-2 can't easily do, development and production. Timeline the B-21 Raider program is advancing at an impressive pace. The first aircraft took its maiden flight on November 10, 2023 from Palmdale, California, to Edwards Air Force Base. As of 2025, three test aircraft are actively supporting the flight campaign, validating stealth performance, flight characteristics, and weapon systems. Reports indicate the results have met or exceeded expectations, though most details remain classified. In 2025, the program officially entered low-rate initial production, with $4.5 billion in additional Air Force funding to accelerate development. At least 100 Raiders are planned, with full-scale production ramping up through the late 2020s. The first operational squadron is expected to reach initial operational capability by the early 2030s. Incredibly fast for such a complex system, unlike the B-2, which requires special climate-controlled hangars, the B-21 can operate from a wider range of air bases, giving the Air Force unprecedented flexibility, strategic implications, the B-21. Raiders' stealth and versatility have major implications for America's adversaries. China has spent decades building layered air defenses, radar networks, 
surface-to-air missiles, and interceptor aircraft to keep U.S. forces at bay. But the B-21 renders much of that investment obsolete. Even the most advanced Chinese radar systems can't detect a bomber with the B-21's stealth profile, effectively neutralizing billions in defensive infrastructure. The message is clear. America's technological dominance in the skies isn't just holding, it's accelerating. Surface-to-air missiles can't hit what they can't see. And enemy fighters can't intercept a bomber they don't even know is there. Nothing showcases American technological dominance better than this. Russia faces the same challenge. Despite investing heavily in advanced radar, systems and long-range missiles like the S-400 and S-500, considered among the most capable in the world, they're virtually useless against the B-21 Raider. This is what military strategists call deterrence through strength. When potential adversaries know the U.S. can strike their most critical targets anytime, anywhere, and without warning, they think twice before acting aggressively. The B-21 Raider isn't just another bomber. It's a vision of the future of American air power, a perfect blend of engineering brilliance, manufacturing precision, and strategic foresight proving once again why America leads the world in innovation. Think about it. Engineers took over three decades of experience operating the B-2 Spirit and built something three times more capable at just one-third the cost. That level of innovation happens only in America. Even more impressive, the B-21 program has stayed on schedule and within budget, a rare achievement in modern defense projects. It shows what happens when advanced technology meets disciplined management. And this is only the beginning. The B-21's open architecture design allows for continuous upgrades, integrating future tech like artificial intelligence, quantum computing, and directed energy weapons as they mature. It's a clear signal of America's commitment to staying generations ahead. While other nations are still struggling to master stealth, the U.S. is already fielding sixth-generation systems that make those efforts obsolete before they even begin. Why the B-21 dominates the B-2 Every detail tells the story, stealth. The B-21 delivers full 360-degree stealth coverage, while the B-2's stealth is strongest only from the front. The B-21 simply disappears from enemy radar, from every angle. Cost. Each B-21 costs about $692 million. Compared to $2.2 billion for a B-2, that means the U.S. can build enough raiders to project power across the globe. Technology. The B-21's open systems allow constant upgrades. The B-2, meanwhile, is locked in 1980s-era technology. Flexibility. The B-21 can fly autonomously, command drones, act as an airborne control center, and adapt to missions the B-2 was never built to handle. Production. New manufacturing methods make it faster, cheaper, and more reliable to produce. Mission adaptability. Designed for 21st century threats. The B-21 is built for modern warfare, not Cold War scenarios. The B-2 spirit defined its era, but the world has changed. The B-21 Raider is the bomber built for today and for the decades ahead. Conclusion, the B-21 Raider doesn't just represent American technological superiority, it secures it. While rivals pour billions into countering yesterday's systems, America is already flying the future. This aircraft embodies what sets American power apart. Innovation, precision, efficiency, and vision. Soon, the men and women of the U.S. Air Force will fly the most advanced bomber ever built, an aircraft capable of penetrating any defense, striking any target, and returning home safely. That's not just strength. That's peace through strength. Share your thoughts about America's air power in the comments. We love hearing from those who appreciate military excellence.